Hello, crypto YouTube fans. This is CoinPicker.us, and this image shows the roller coaster ride that we are on. I'm going to cover the general market trend, which, uh, if you're on my newsletter, none of this that just happened recently, where we had a significant market drop, comes as a surprise. I specifically said we were headed down from here, and that has been the case. What you do with that information is up to you. You could be buying some of the specific projects that I mentioned that are likely to move counter trend, which has happened. Most of them, not all of them. Sometimes one or two will move slightly, uh, not necessarily counter trend. Like if the whole market goes down, they won't necessarily rise dramatically, but they certainly will not go down very much at all. So you don't really lose much. You end up gaining with the portfolios that I set up. And that's the way it has to be these days. We're in a trading market. If you're holding on for dear life, then what you're doing is hoping and praying that the market recovers. It will eventually, but we don't know how long eventually is. I have some ideas on that, which I'll share a little later on in the video. But you want to stick um, to the end of the video because I'm going to discuss what I see as the big picture and a couple of ideas for how to trade profitably in this uh, and which particular coins to trade with. Of course, you want to sign up for my service at coinpicker.us right here. I always take a quick two-second station break. Go to coinpicker.us, and we've got a new um, a new indicator, which is right here, which is, as far as I know, the only one in the market, which allows us to tell really accurately what the market is going to do in a big picture. And what this indicator is saying, like, for this is the this right here is a, a, pro, a very close approximation of the total market cap. Same thing you get right here. When you go to, go to coin market cap, dot com something like this this is the total market cap of all the coins but what I, what I've done is I've taken the total market cap and this is a you know close approximation this happens to be just uh, like like a two day envelope and I have put what are the moving averages on top of it which we don't have on coin market cap and the problem with that is that we then do not know if the total market cap is higher or lower where it should, you know, versus where uh, a steady trend would be. And when it gets way overextended, like uh, give, give an example, like right here, it's way too far below its moving averages. And that tells you that the probability that you're going to get a massive run up in the market cap is high. Right here, it got way too high over its moving averages, as you see here. So that tells us the probability is that it's going to drop significantly. So what, how this works in trading is, as you're getting all the way down here and all the coins are showing red, you know to buy in. You know to buy in. It's too, because markets <clears throat> respond back back towards the uh, moving averages over time. You, you know, it doesn't happen immediately sometimes, but it almost always happens. So what you want to do is the way you would use this is you would, as it goes down all the way here and you see it's getting really overextended, you say, okay, hey, it's too far down. I'm going to go ahead and buy in on some of the shares that maybe coinpicker.us recommends or some shares that I know have long-term value and upside potential. And then when the overall market recovers, which is what this shows, and bounces back up, you know, whoa, I'm getting way too far overextended. I'm going to go ahead and sell out a few of these and take profits. That's how you use this. It's not quite that simple, but pretty much. If you sign up, You'll, you'll potentially get access to it on coinpicker.us, and I guarantee you, you will be trading at a level of profitability you never imagined. I mean, I, it's up to you. I can't really guarantee you that. I can just say that if you know how to use this, and I obviously will make videos on it, but you know how to use this, your probability of achieving profitable trades relatively easily goes up dramatically. So that's what that is. Let's talk about where the market is today. If you're on my list, you knew this was coming because I specifically stated on my list. In fact, I need to show that. Uh, I hate doing this, um, but let's see if I can show it to you. Uh, if I have my own email here somewhere. There it is, coinpicker.us. Coin. So let's look at my analysis report, right? Let's look at my analysis report here. Bo boom, bo bing. Okay, analysis report. ETH, e, e, uh, Ethereum was the major leader on the upside for the past few days and is showing significant downside momentum, presaging a near-term downtrend for much of the market. Bam. That's what I said. And that was yesterday at 
uh, well, so the 29th at 12.34 p.m. So I said that you can expect this downtrend. This is exactly what happened. And I think the market was like 578, 570 something when I wrote this. And in fact, I'm going to start including that in my emails. But if you get on my email list, you go to coinpicker.us, sign up. Um, also, you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do do updates. And very often, um, they're, they're different, meaning the YouTube video is different than what I write in the uh, my, my email le letter. But I also you know mention what um, short-term buys to, to swap out and which ones to add in. Walton has been a long-term one, BitShares, NEO, R-Chain, R um, Actually, I put our chain in there twice. I really wanted to put um, another one. Ryblox is what I was going to put in there, but I screwed that up. Anyway, so here, and I give you a, a a portfolio for the day, basically. So that's that's what I, you know, I, I called it. I knew it was happening. Now, what what do I see now? What do I see going on now? Well, the technical indicators suggest on a weekly basis we have a significant drop potential on a weekly basis. Still more. We're not at all. We're still slightly overbought. The stochastic says we have more uh, more to go down, and the balance of power says sellers are definitely in control, and we could could trundle around here for a little bit, for a little bit. Um, this is getting a bit extreme right here, but it's possible to just hold the level, and that will still maintain a downward trend. That's on a weekly basis. On a daily basis, let's take a quick look. Um, on a daily basis, we're actually looking like we might have a bit of a bounce here. That's what it looks like on a daily basis. So not, not entirely unexpected. I wouldn't bet the farm on the bounce at all because the other option is we'll just run along a trend. But I would say uh, we still have, you know what I need that I do not have here? I'm going to take out the stochastic RSI. I need the EFI because that will tell me loads of good information that I can share with all you good YouTubers. Let's see here. Let's do that now. Okay, we've got the EFI. EFI suggests just what I was saying, that there is more of a trend in play. Slight downward bias, but more of a trend in play. This says that we could have a slight reversal. This says we're in a, just a trending market, and this more or less says trending market. So I'm not expecting any fireworks to the upside at all. Nor am I still expecting fireworks to the downside. There, there is a slight downward bias, but it is not major. That could change in a daily period. On a weekly period, however, um, which you know may, many of you may not be day traders, on a weekly period, interestingly enough, we're still long biased. Um, although this is indicating we are heading towards shorter term. Uh, downward trend. So we're still slight. We're still long biased. The buyers are still in control. We have reached a bit of a selling exhaustion in the balance of power, which means that there could be a little bit more upside. But based on the EMA, I mean, I got to tell you, um, that's a pretty hefty margin above the EMA. My suspicion is that we are probably going to drop down somewhat more. Um, or, you know, basically this will keep rising and this will just more or less hold its own. I don't, this does not indicate we have a big bounce ahead. Um, this one does indicate that there is either a steady period or a bounce. This indicates that um, it's downward biased. Sellers are still, uh, buyers are still in control, so it could have some some upward potential. But none of these really indicate massive moves. Um, yeah, this doesn't indicate a massive move to the downside. This indicates that there's still some room to the to slightly to the upside. This does indicate that sellers are somewhat exhausted at this point. So um, I would say that this selling period is probably not going to continue dramatically much longer or, you know, at, at the level of, uh, of, of extensiveness. We're probably going to either stay level or there might be a slight upward bias, but I don't see any. It's not really a great trading opportunity, bluntly speaking, not a great trading opportunity because not, not, things aren't lined up well enough to indicate that it's going to bounce up dramatically at all. It looks like more more often than not, it's going to just either maintain the same area here or slight uptrend, um, and it doesn't look like it's ready to uh, to tank considerably more to the downside because this looks like a bit of an exhaustion, and um, this is still buyer buyers are still in control oddly enough. So that's that's what the overall market is looking like to do. I don't see 
I don't see a massive downside from here, nor do I see a massive upside. It looks like it's going to trend here for a little while. Now, tomorrow, and this is on a weekly basis, tomorrow um, we might see significant fireworks from other markets that could impact the crypto space. So that's 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 just what I what I want to say right there. Now, what are some projects that could potentially give you I've talked about Walton in the past. Let's see what Walton's doing. I haven't even checked today, so I might be skewering myself. So Walton has dropped, but I mean, if you bought it when I said to buy it, you're still in major, major um, positive territory. Let's see about Blocknet. Blocknet was moving opposite. Blocknet has dropped back a little bit. It hit, it had gone too far. I had mentioned that. Um, let's see about Stellar. In fact, I think almost everything is probably dropping today, uh, but not as much, not as much. In fact, let's do a, an all look and see... Uh, which ones are moving, if any, counter trend? Very few are moving counter trend. Icon is holding its own. That's something to take note of. Uh, Tether, forget about Tether. Um, yeah, very few. Decred, Decred. if you know cryptos, you know Decred is a very solid project. And Digex, DAO, that's gold supposedly backed. I, I wouldn't use Digex necessarily as a trading vehicle. You probably want to stick with real gold for that. Ignis, uh, not exactly certain why that bounced up. And um, Pillar, solid project. Uh, this is an interesting project here. This is an interesting project. That may actually go on one of my buy lists because I've looked into it and I'm very impressed with it. Siren is an ICO and I, I mean, it's not an ICO anymore, but it was recently. And, you know, there's probably a lot of, like I had been talking about it back here and I said, don't buy in, it's bounced up way too much. So it's dropped down considerably and it's moving up moving back up and wax. Um, so the, the long and short of it is there are some uh, there are some projects that still be, would be big movers here, but by and large, the same projects that I've been talking about before, the Waltons, the, I, the Icons, the Neos, the Stellars are still perfectly sound now. Keep in mind you're in a down market. So as you take profits, like I got people into Walton at 24, as you bounced up to 32, 34 and made new highs, you take some profits, keep your powder dry, when it bounces back down, like I said, when it hit to 40 or above, you definitely want to sell out a portion. And that's exactly what it did. It hit to 40 and it dropped back to like 36 or 34. You want to sell out a portion. Um, I would not say, I haven't looked at these carefully, but I would not say this is a great entry point for virtually any project at this point. Not a great entry point because um, the oversold condition or the sold, sold condition is not extremely oversold. It means there's a potential for more downside. There is also a potential for a little bit of a bounce, not a significant bounce by what I see, not at all. In fact, I would bias everything towards the downside, which is what I've been talking about. I had said that by Wednesday, Thursday, we could see significantly more downside. All right, I have gone on and on, and that is going to wrap it up for coinpicker.us. Go ahead and hit the subscribe and the like button, and... Sign up for my email newsletter where I give you some portfolio and trading ideas. So even in a down market, you can make money. So I will talk to you tomorrow.